In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best method to get infinite strength in Arm Wrestle Simulator. So inside of the game, they are adding a brand new World 5 coming this weekend. And in order to get to that world, you're going to need a lot of strength. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the best ways to get strength in all the worlds. So you guys can catch up and be ready for the brand new world coming. So yeah, make sure to watch the entire video so you guys can see the best method to get a ton of strength. So yeah, let's get into it right now. Alright, so as you can see, currently I am at 942 quadrillion strength. And I don't believe I'm strong enough to beat the Mutant King yet, which you need to be to unlock the next world when it releases. And yeah, let's see, I haven't checked in a little bit, and yeah, we are just barely too weak to be able to defeat him. But yeah, definitely by the time the next update drops, I will for sure be able to beat him because I'm already pretty close. But yeah, I guess what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to the first world and start from the beginning on showing you guys how to get a lot of strength. So yeah, if you guys did not know, right over here inside of the first world, there actually is a limited time egg inside the game. And this egg only costs one win, so it's super cheap to open, and it gives some pretty insane pets. I wish I had this egg when I started playing the game. But yeah, unfortunately when I started, there was no limited egg, and I actually had to completely grind by using these eggs over here, which are nowhere near as good. But yeah, I highly suggest you guys use this egg because you get some super insane pets. If we go ahead and just open up one egg really quick, I went ahead and got the purple dragon, and as you can see, it is a golden, but it does 85 times. And if you don't have any pets, that's actually extremely helpful. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you're able to have three pets in the beginning to equip. So if you get three of these pets, you'll definitely be able to for sure at least go through the first world very quickly. And yeah, for the first world, I suggest you guys use the bicep to train. And just go ahead and enable the auto train as well. And you can go ahead and get some strength pretty quickly. As you can see, I'm getting three billion, which is definitely a lot. To be fair, though, I have some pretty good pets. But yeah, you only need 6.3 million to be able to beat this final boss, so it should not be very difficult. So yeah, heading into this second world right over here, it's going to be pretty similar to the first world. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and train the biceps. And yeah, as you can see inside of this world, I am getting 20 billion strength, which is also pretty good. And if you do use the bigger dumbbell, I believe it helps a little bit. As you can see, I'm getting a little bit more billion, but it lifts way slower. So yeah, I definitely suggest you guys do not use any of these dumbbells. Just go ahead and click the auto train and use the regular dumbbell it gives you. But yeah, inside the second world, I don't think it's worth it all using the knuckle strength or even the hand strength either. Using the bicep strength in the second world is definitely the most helpful. And yeah, if you guys have the limited egg in the game and you still have the limited pets, I definitely suggest you guys go back to that egg and open it up for a while. Because I believe they are even better than all these pets if you're able to get like the evil owl. As you can see, I have an evil owl. It is a void and it does 8,000 damage. But if it was a normal one and you hatched it, it would only do 4,000, but that's still very good. And yeah, if you're able to get a team of at least the evil owls, you will probably be able to get through the second world as well. But yeah, I also suggest you guys don't enchant your pets until you get to pretty far inside the game to where it's actually worth it. But yeah, honestly, I don't really want to rebirth because I don't want to lose all of my strength because I'm very close to being able to beat the next boss. And yeah, at the top, as you can see, there is a huge update. Currently, at the time I'm recording this video, it is in 84 hours. When you guys see this, it'll be a lot less than this. But yeah, hopefully when they do update the game again, hopefully they increase the super rebirth limit to at least 20. So people can go ahead and purchase the plus one pet equip. But yeah, super rebirthing is also very, very important. I suggest right when you guys are able to super rebirth, I suggest you guys do it and go ahead and get the max that you can. But yeah, I definitely suggest you guys super rebirth because it allows you to get way more bicep power per lift. If you get all 10 super rebirths, you get an extra 1000% added to the rebirths. Or you get an extra 100% boost for every star you have. But yeah, a lot of people were also confused by this. You actually have to have these stars inside of your inventory and not spend to actually receive the extra buff for the rebirths. See, honestly, I don't really suggest you guys spend your super rebirths unless you really want to. Because once you spend them, you will go ahead and lose all of your progress on the re- Because if you do, you will lose all of your progress on the rebirths. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the second world. On to the third world and where most of the people struggle inside of the game. I am going to show you how you can get through this world as fast as you most possibly can. Yeah, regarding pets, I definitely suggest you guys still continue to open up the limited egg because it's literally the best egg in the game you can open. Because it's literally extremely cheap to open and you can get some pretty insane pets. But yeah, inside of the third world, the best thing you want to train is the knuckle strength. 
As you can see, I am getting a 46.7 billion and sometimes 70 billion, which is pretty good. But yeah, I only suggest you guys train the Knuckle Strength if you have the VIP Game Pass. Because if you don't have it, you only get 175 per second, and if you have it, you get 525 per second. So yeah, not having the VIP Game Pass is not very helpful, and it's not really worth training the Knuckle Strength if you don't have it. And yeah, if you do not have the VIP Game Pass, the best thing to train inside of the Beach Roll will also be the Bicep Strength. As you can see, I'm getting 120 billion per tick, which is pretty good. And if we're going to pick up this big dumbbell, we are going to be receiving 110 for some reason. See, I don't really know why it's less, so I guess definitely do not use the big weight. Go ahead and just use the one it gives you. But yeah, once again, making sure you continue to rebirth and also maxing out your super rebirths will allow you to get through this world as fast as you can. When I was grinding through world 3, I believe when I was punching this thing, I was only getting like 2 or 3 billion per hit. So if you guys are able to get more than me, you will for sure be able to reach this nuclear bunker pretty quickly. And yeah, also something very important that I forgot to mention is also having the friends boost enabled. I don't have any friends inside of the server as to why the percent is zero, but you're able to get an extra up to 80% boost for grinding. Just by having a full server of everybody friended, you can get a lot more strength. And also as well, buying trails is super important as well to go ahead and receive a lot more strength. As you can see, the more expensive it goes up, the more strength you actually get for tick. And currently, I do have the best one side of the game, which gives you an extra 250% as well as 95 speed. So yeah, definitely pretty helpful as well. And also, if you guys are just starting out, I also suggest you guys complete this quest, which gives a fiery dominance. And if you guys did not know, it has a 1000 damage multiplier. And this thing is extremely easy to get. All you have to do is play the game for 60 minutes without leaving and also win 10 battles. So yeah, this thing is actually super helpful as well if you want to get it as well. But yeah, on to the final world, which is the nuclear bunker, and this is where I have been. And yeah, the best thing to train inside the nuclear bunker is also bicep power. As you can see, I'm getting 695 billion per lift with the small dumbbell, but if I use the big one, I'm receiving 3.1 trillion, which is also pretty good, and as well, I do not have any friends in the server. Yeah, I think I would definitely be able to get it a lot higher if I had some better pets, although my pets are definitely pretty good, I think they could be a little bit better. So yeah, I do want to go ahead and roll a couple times to get this regular super angel in a rainbow, and potentially see if I can get this void super angel in a ghost. It's going to be pretty unlikely, but I want to be able to at least get both of them rainbow as I should. And yeah, there we go, there's the first one rainbow, so there we go. We can go ahead and lock and equip this one, so there we go. And yeah, for the much more harder one, I want to try and get this in a ghost. I wonder if I can use some of these pets. I'm able to get it to a 2%, but honestly, I don't really think it's worth it. Because you sacrifice a lot of pets for basically nothing. When I, if you do have a lot of med kits, it's not really that worth it. So yeah, let's go ahead and roll this a few times and see if we can potentially get lucky and get ghost. And yeah, unfortunately, we got glowing that time. But yeah, we do have 29 med kits, so we have a small chance at getting the ghost. So yeah, I guess I'm going to sit here and roll this a bunch of times, and if I can get the ghost, I'll be back. And if not, I, I guess I'll also still be back. Alright, we are back, and unfortunately, I did not get the ghost. I did spend pretty much all my med kits, but I do want to keep a couple. But yeah, we went ahead and got the rainbow enchant back on it, so basically the same thing we had on it before. But yeah, I still would say my team is definitely pretty good. Literally, the worst pet on my team does 16,000 damage. But yeah, I guess I'll probably continue to grind the egg, and potentially I'll be able to get some really good pets. But honestly, once the World 5 releases, the pets in there are probably going to be much better. And yeah, I guess we're gonna have to just wait to see and find out. But yeah, that pretty much is everything for the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 100k subs. I appreciate it if you subscribe. And yeah, thank you boys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.